welcome back to the channel look um there's this school of thought in saint vincent and it's really something i think i should talk about they've been saying that since cartel left saint vincent many things have been happening um cartel came here in august of course for health reasons and it's looking much better now i'm really happy for him as well but there's a school of thought in St. Vince that since he left the island, there's a bad spirit that was left. Um, but what they have been discussing in shops, uh, rum bars, uh, and street corners, and many different places is that since he left, a lot of things have been happening in the way of killings. Now, you can't associate this guy's presence here with what's taking place in St. Vincent. Before he even came to St. Vincent, um, murders, whatever it is, was taking place in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So I really can't see the association. They're saying he left a bad spirit and the bad spirit has led to a lot of bad things. So, but I think that people are to really be mindful of how they talk issues surrounding people. Gentleman came here. He was here with um, the youths. He encouraged them not to get involved in crime. Um, he went and spoke to some footballers about taking part actively in sports and not getting involved in any kind of bad behavior because jail is just not the place to be. So. If he came to St. Vincent and did not do that and just came here and you don't know what his activities were, maybe people's things about since he left, bad things are happening, maybe have been plausible, but that is not the case. And people really need to stop this sort of bad-mindedness when it comes to people. Not because someone spent some time in jail and came out means that if they go somewhere, they're leaving a bad spirit and things are happening. And people are referring to all of the, the murder that have taken place in St. Vincent since he left there, since the bad spirit that he brought is what is causing all these things uh, to take place. You would have known that in St. Vincent and the Grenadines over the last couple of days, we've seen a lot of things happening. Um, we've seen a guy in Barley got stabbed over the weekend. He died. Uh, before that, we, we they found bones in the Spring Village Mountains the 10th of October. October 5th, you had this guy uh, shot in Villa. Then on this, uh, they had a 49-year-old who was killed in Lowman's on Thursday, October 3rd. And a body was found in Gibson Con on October the 2nd. You had a 13-year-old who died at Sand Hill Bay. And there has been a series of murders in the country lately. But to say or to attribute this to a bad spirit left by cartel and, you know, I don't go for that. I don't subscribe for that. The murders have been taking place in St. Vincent. Crime has been taking place in St. Vincent long before cartel showed up here. So I really believe that people are to give this guy a break now and um, really remove this sort of um, nonsensical um, discussions that they're having. And I just thought I wanted to come and share uh, that uh, with the people myself. But those things were happening long before he came to St. Vincent. So guys, just ease up on this guy and give him a chance. All right. Let him do his thing in life. All right. So thanks for joining me. Of course, we will be back with more videos. Remember to check out and subscribe to this channel. All right.